you see this game playing out? I think we're going to see a defensive game. I'm going to say the first player to get a stop may run away with this game. I think this game could go either way, but I wouldn't be surprised if we see one opponent dominate the other. The 2019 Madden Bowl brought to you by Bose, the official sound of the Madden NFL 19 at Championship Series. All right, so Drini's going to be on offense first. We were kind of hyping a little bit this uh, some serious defense. We get a first look at it. And, and when we talk to some serious as well, he considers himself to be a defensive first player and really, really prides himself on that side of the ball. Of course, uh, but I'm going to say Drini's going to be pretty prepared for that defense. He's been lab with Gosu, who arguably, has arguably looked the best out of all competitors. Went 3-0 and in the toughest group that everybody's saying is the toughest group. Right. I think, I think Drini's going to be prepared. Uh, we're going to see what formation he comes out in. He normally is running that gun-wide trips. Let's see if he has a different approach. VY Electrify had an interesting take on both these competitors. First, he said Drini is the best defensive player in the field. Quote, he bagged up my run game, and that gun, means something. Gun, gun, gun. Absolutely. All right, first play of the game. A run to the right. And there you see that strong defense right in play there. Uh, Drini coming out with that the first play, that tells me that he, that's something he labbed up. And if it's going to lose four yards, and I would say that's a bad sign for Drini going forward. Second and 14. Ball at the 24-yard line. A four-yard loss on the first play. Detroit! Detroit! Some serious spreading out his defensive like line. He's trying to hit him over the middle. He, I mean, he look at all of that space in the middle with his 5-2. Five defensive linemen, two linebackers. Screaming. Under pressure, but finds his man. A pickup of four there. If Drini can't block this defense, he's going to be in for a long day. Gun, 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 gun. All right, now, look at 56. Mo, what are you doing here to try to block it up? I would probably send out uh, everybody. You know, if you're not going to block it, why keep those guys in the block? Uh, spread them out a little bit. And that's something he did there. It was a great read. Picks up the first down on a 10-yard pickup. Looks like Drini's desperately just trying to find a run play that's going to work versus his defense. If I was some serious, I wouldn't be surprised if we see him spread his D-line here because there's only two run plays that are very effective in this formation. It's a dive and a toss. See him shift the line left. I love it. A toss out to the left. Cut back inside is Mixon. Mixon fighting forward. Picks up good yardage there, makes it second and four. I would have liked to see Drina try to take that outside. He might not have got six yards, but he could have had a chance to break it for a touchdown. Comes right back out on it. And again, we know that some series considers himself to be a very aggressive player defensively. Says he wants to try and blitz on every single down. Another toss play to the left side. Again, cuts back. Drini finds a little bit of space. We'll get very close to that first down marker, but it's third and one. Although he's at third and one right now and he didn't pick up a first, uh, you got to love what Drini's doing. He's making some serious get off that safety. He's back on his linebacker. We haven't seen that at all. Some serious said that some of his key defensive players will be Cam Chancellor. Out of position, Sean Taylor, who's playing at defensive end because he wants that speed coming off the edge in that 5-2. Drini's going to have to make a read quick here. Third and one. Lobbing one to the left side. It's Got caught. It. A big pickup and a great play call from Drini. Drini's making some serious play completely different on defense than he has the entire tournament. His whole way here, he's been user in that safety, blitzing all seven guys, and now we're seeing him on that linebacker. That could be something huge to watch for. He's using Jamal Adams at free safety, and you're right. He said he wants to use him the most. There he is, he's on that linebacker again. I'm not sure what he's doing. He's blow it up again. There is no space on the right side. They found a little bit of success on the left side, but on the right side, two runs, two negative runs, second and 14. Drini's run that play twice, lost four yards both times. It's time to throw that one out. Look for, look for John Ross over the middle here. So what can Drini do here on second and 14? Has a very tight formation. One running back in the backfield. It's Mixon. Lamar Jackson dropped back the pass. Wow, under pressure. How did he get that ball off? I have no idea. It looked like he actually dropped back in coverage, and one of his D tackles just happened to shoot through the gaps. 
I have not seen some serious user of this linebacker. I know I keep coming back to it, but I would it's say true. I would say he's a little bit uncomfortable versus Greeny's offense right now. Is it? Is it? Maybe he's just trying to show him a different look. I wonder. All right, a bullet pass to the left side, way overthrown. See, that's the problem with using Lamar Jackson and Michael Vick. When you throw those high ball passes, they're, they're not going to be the most accurate throws all the time. Fourth and seven, so a field goal on the way up and good. And again, if you are some serious, that's a big time win. Absolutely. Drini's not like most of these guys, though. Drini aims to go down there and just get points. He doesn't care if it's seven or three. He really, really depends on his defense. So it'll be the first offensive possession now for some serious. I think both players are happy with that result. Honestly, I truly do. If Drina could say, I, if I can go down and get three in my first drive, I'm going to be happy. I believe he would say it. And that's different than, than most other players who absolutely feel like they need to score seven. Every player in this tournament feels like they need to score seven except for Drina. So first possession now for some serious. This is what VY told me before the tournament. He told me that before the last chance qualifier, that if some serious advances, he's going to give people problems. His offense looks crisp. And and this is interesting. VY told me he low-key was hoping that some series would not advance through the LCQ. He's a tough matchup. And, you know, amongst us casters, we, we keep talking about who's the dark horse, who's the dark horse. But everybody's saying he's the dark horse. Is he, is he actually the dark horse then if we're all picking him to go deep in this tournament? Mm. So here comes some serious. Early on, I do notice some serious a little bit uncomfortable. I have not seen him in this formation yet either. No, 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 no. Check. Two Patriot. wide receivers Patriot. on the left, one on the right. Then he puts Moss in motion, puts him on the slot on the right side. Offensively, some serious says he wants to run the ball every single time. So no surprise, a run on his first offensive play, picks up one yard. This is an interesting note. He actually rushed the ball on more than 40% of his plays in the LCQ ladders. And he said, quote, I will run it every single play if you let me. Something you love to see. Not a lot of people take that approach anymore. Dropping back to pass this time. Throws it out to the flats. Great spin move back inside. Oh, I thought he might have broken that tackle. Picked up that first down. But no, a good tackle there. Now it's third and six. I like him see him getting back in something he's comfortable in. Like I said, I've not seen him go under center at all. I like him getting back in this spread formation. Just air it out. You make your best reads out of this formation. Why not just stay in it? Single, single, single. Go on, go on. 110 go on. left to go in the first quarter. Now, it's the first Barney. offensive possession Back for some down. series. Dreen on his first possession. Left March first. down, kick the field goal. It's go three on, to nothing. Third and go six. On. Dropping back to pass. Can he find anything? No! Drini comes in with the heat Great and gets that sack. And that's why Drini's just fine with taking field goals. He depends on his defense. Here we are, already a three and out. It looks like he's going to go for it, though. Fourth Detroit, and 13. Drini's not a player I like to go for it on fourth down versus. For you kids at home, if you ever get massive with Drini, punt the ball on fourth down. <laughs> there you go. So can some series find a little something magical? He'll launch it to the left side. It's picked up for the first down. What a play. Great patience there. Absolutely. I, you, that first play, the first and ten, it, it was almost like he was nervous. He kind of wasted it down there. I'm happy to see he get it, gets it back, and then he kind of forget about that and just run his offense. Styles make fights, as they say. I do wonder, because they're both so great defensively, will they be forced to throw the ball more than they want to? I think so. Uh, Versus that 5-2 defense, you're going to have a hard time running the ball. So you're going to have to pass. And same with Green. He's always going to be able to stop the run. So comes inside handoff from a shotgun formation. Picks up minimal yardage there, second and eight. We just didn't see that happening to, to some serious in that first LCQ game when he played free the Penguins. He was running all over him. It's not going to be the case here. He's going to have to dot him up and down the field. Very interesting start to this very interesting matchup. All right, stay tuned to this channel every Thursday starting on May 2nd to take a deep dive on all the new features in Madden 20. Go behind the scenes with special developer interviews with exclusive content, with exclusive content reveals to get you prepared for the August 2nd worldwide launch of Madden NFL 20. Second quarter underway. As we anticipated, a relatively low-scoring affair. It was three to nothing after one. Gun, gun. On second and eight, some serious scrambling, looking for the first down, finds it. 
great timing there. He might have had the post coming open, but he made his decision right away, did the right thing, picked up nine, moved the chains. I thought he was very decisive on that run, Mo. Absolutely. And that's what it takes. You have to be quick on your reads, especially versus a player like Journey. The pressure is going to get there. He knows exactly how long he needs to guard a certain route. He's always going to come down at the right time. Just a great run. Some series, he's a big-time Titans fan. Has Eddie George as his halfback. He's got Derrick Henry in there as his fullback and his tight end, Delaney Walker. This time, lobbing one to the right he side. He's Can got he him. find it? Oh, he dropped oh, it. Oh, the pass broken up. Greeny using Sean Taylor at corner. That's going to happen. He's going to get that ball out, but still a great read by something serious. A pass you need your guy to come down with. You just missed it. Had some space on that right side. Could have been six. Instead, it's second and ten. All right, now, lucky 56. Lucky 56. This is an interesting formation. A little flip trips action. Dropping back to pass. It's some serious. He wants to try to get out and run, but can't. Chase down from behind. Jason Taylor with the sack. It looked like Drini just made him be a little, little slow on his progressions there. He, he had the post coming open, but Drini baited like he was going to run back there and shot down on the running back. Guarded both. Just great defense. Looks like there's no, there's no, there's no, there's no cornerback over to the left. Tuck it and run. Ooh. Finds the space again. Picks up the first down on the quarterback scramble. It looked like his quarterback was switching hands, so he wasn't able to slide there. That's why he takes the big hit. Lucky he didn't fumble. He had a fourth and 13, converted. Another fourth and 13, converted again. Hey, it's hard to make a living like that. That's, that's not going to last all game, but you had to pick it up right there, and he did. So the drive continues. The ball at the 31-yard line. A great scoring opportunity now for some serious. Handoff goes to George. Finds some face on the left side. Picks up the first down and more. That's what some serious wants to do on offense. Only person in this group using that, Eddie George, and you see why he's using him. Just runs through two players, almost gets to the end zone there. Everybody's using this Joe Mixon who's fast. He can spin, but he's not going to be breaking very many tackles, and that's why he uses him, uh, Eddie George. And again, does he's, a, as you know, the Titans Club champion, a big Titans fan from Memphis, Tennessee. I'm sure that might have went into the decision to use him a little bit. I think so. A delayed handoff to George this time, dropped in the backfield. Looks like if he may have been a little bit more patient, he would have had some space right there. It actually looks like that defender was about to get blocked. Right. He ran right into him. So, a little unfortunate break there, but that's on him as well. Ran into the tackle, I agree with you. It looked as if there was a hole developing between the tackle and guard. If he had cut back inside just a little bit, might have found some space and some serious yardage. Instead, it's second and 12. 2.30 to go here in the Detroit, first half. Detroit. Bruce Lee doesn't just turn melting the ball. away. Scanning Why? the field, some serious. Now rolling out to the left, throws it out to the left. It's George, George some space. Picks up the first down. George doing work right now. Great patience by some serious. Drini actually makes an incredible play with his user and some serious still makes the right decision and picks up 13 there. I don't like seeing him in the spread formation right here, but I'm assuming he's gonna go through the two minute warning instead. Will he do it? Clock kicking down to the two-minute warning. Trini has used one timeout. He's got two remaining. You would, you would think, you would think that he'd slam it home here with Eddie George. We're going to see a run here for sure. And I don't know if you guys picked up on that. He just, he just went to the 6-0 lineman package. What that does, it gets some, gets some extra beef in there. And what you'll see a lot of players do in the red zone. They'll go on this aggressive ball carrying, and it gives you a higher chance of breaking tackle, but you can also fumble. But people just think that the, re the reward outweighs the risk down in the red zone because it's so close to the end zone. Tons of beef up front. Hey, 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 hey. Can he find Pedro? George spins away from one tackle and slams it in. So He's so good. You know where he played college ball at? Eddie George, the Ohio State. The Ohio State University. <laughs> Flag on the way, kick is up and good. I know there's some Buckeyes fans in the chat. Oh, for Show sure. Show some love. Oh, for sure. OH. IO. Converting on two fourth and longs. Some serious. Reclaims the lead, seven to three. All right, let's take another look. 
He was met in the backfield, but he would not be denied. Eddie George showing off that power, able to slam it in for seven. Seven to three now. Drini facing a four point deficit. Nixon to the left. An extra spin will cost him some yards. It's going to be tough for Drina to make a living in this formation. I think the pressure is going to get there. I really wish some series would stay on that safety versus formation to allow his glitches to get in. That's who he says he likes to use her. He likes to use her, Jamal Adams, in that free safety position. We haven't seen too much of it in this first half. It really, it really is taking me by surprise. Seven to three. Some series against one of the best meta players on planet Earth in Drina. Drina picks up the first down here. He's got tons of time. 129 left to go in the first half. You can tell this formation just making some serious uneasy on defense. He's not comfortable doing what he likes to do. He likes to use that free safety. He likes to blitz seven. What is it about Drini's formation? What are you seeing here? Uh, he has no wide receiver on the outside by himself where he can just put that outside corner in a deep blue. So he's, has, he's having to use that linebacker so he can have two people deep still. He drops back the defensive backs with the softer coverage. Then uh, float out to the left flats. Drini picks up more yardage, second and one. Some serious blitz and six people, but he's just not getting in. This is a formation where you have to send all seven in the box or else it's just not going to come in. What a chess match between these two players. And on. Nixon testing the left side, picks up the first down. Something I can really appreciate about Drini is how this isn't his favorite formation, but he's just going back to it because he can just tell that some series is uncomfortable versus this formation. He's not using that safety. Drini doesn't have to worry about any pressure. I, I can really appreciate him doing this. Since boss in motion. Drini, hand off. Got some space. Oh, great spin move. Tons of space in front of him. A great pickup right there for Drini. If you're some serious, you need this game to go 7-6 to six at halftime. You cannot give up a touchdown here. 45 seconds and ticking. Left to go in the first half. Drini does have two timeouts, so he's got all kinds of time in front of him. Ball spot at the 25-yard line. Just outside the red zone. Mixon will run it again. Oh, my Make goodness. So much space. Great stick work. Oh, my goodness. No, I thought he he was a stiff arm away from getting in for six. I'm interested to see how Drini's going to play this down here. One of my biggest knocks on Drini, he gets a really, really conservative in these situations. I'm interested to see what he does here. So 30 seconds to go. Ball to 10-yard line. It's a first and 10, not a first and goal. Something of note. Now Drini goes to a more spread formation. Look for Moss over the middle. Drini scrambling. Throws it away. Drini's favorite play down this red zone. He runs that post route, then he has the two outside receivers on curls. I don't like him throwing the curls. That's a dangerous pass, but look for Moss to make a play down here just like you've seen throughout this tournament. If you're just joining us, Drini jumped out to a 3 nothing lead. First drive ended in a field goal, then some series with his first and only possession of the first half. Resulted in six, a George touchdown, seven to three right now. 26 seconds left to go in the first down. Drini Stranding. He's got him. He's got a man to the right side. It's caught for a touchdown. A beautiful drive from Drini to answer George's touchdown with a touchdown of his own. Much needed, too. And here's a spot in the game where I kind of like scoring with 25, 30 seconds left in the half because it gives your opponent a little bit too much confidence. It they makes them think that they can get points here, but in reality, this is where a lot of players make mistakes and you can truly put the game away. So let's take another look. What are you seeing, Mo? Hey, just the wheel route. We've seen it all weekend. Drini's doing out a little bit for different formations, so you don't expect it. Just a great play. Watch it now, Barney, Barney. All right, 22 seconds to go, but some serious does have Detroit, all three timeouts. Detroit. Can he get to within field goal range? That'd be huge for him. As you see, he's coming out slinging Detroit, the ball. Detroit. I don't like it. I don't like it. A lot of players make mistake here. Some serious dropping back to pass. He'll throw one to the right side. Dashing to the outside, getting out of bounds. 17 seconds left to go. If you're Drini, you're just fine with it. He has three timeouts anyways. He only picks up eight yards. You're okay right. with it. I almost think that Watch it doesn't even matter to get out of bounds because you've got the three timeouts. Absolutely. Try to make somebody miss. If he had more time, let's say 45 seconds, yes, that makes a difference. 17 seconds left to go. Under pressure. Coming from the corner. Drini blitzing the cornerback. 
Drini saying that was dumb. I don't understand why I called a timeout. And <laughs> I agree with him, but you know, it's still not too bad, especially if some series comes out and throws Detroit, the ball right here. You're Detroit. fine with it. Drop back does. to pass. Some series under pressure. Can he get away? No, he does not. Tackled by the shoelaces and brought down. That's the half. That's the half I was expecting to see. I love it. All right. It's halftime, 10 to seven, your score right now. It's largely the kind of game I think a lot of folks might have anticipated, relatively low scoring. We've seen some great defensive plays on both sides of the ball. Yeah, Drini's only up by three and it's gonna be some serious ball, how about a half? But I just noticed how uncomfortable Drini's offense has some series. He's not comfortable in versus that, that tight formation, which I thought might actually be better that Drini was in that formation for some series. But you can just tell he's not comfortable using that safety because he's going to give up too many big plays. But me, I would like it. You know, you're going to guarantee to come in every single time because he can't leave an extra guy in the block. But the problem is up the seam, you're going to have him wide open a lot of the times. You just got to hope the pressure gets there. Stay with your game plan. That's not what he's doing. All right. So for tomorrow, we've got a great lineup in front of us here. It's going to be Spoto taking on Pavin. You see them lined up there in the players' lounge. Spoto, I'll tell you this, surprised a lot of folks going oh undefeated God. in that group stage in a stage that, again, featured a lot of great players, including Michael Skimbo. Second half, about to kick off. James Coe and Sirius Mo joining you. We appreciate you joining alongside. Some series hasn't felt a lot of pressure for his offense to win him a game. I'm telling you right now, his offense is going to have to win him a game because Drini is just playing too good on the offensive side of the ball. Drini largely considered, again, one of the best players in the world. Some series has fought and scratched his way to get to this point. But he's new to the scene. I'd love to see what he has in him here. Four wide receivers, Eddie George back there with Lamar Jackson in the backfield. Handoff goes to George, broken tackle, user stumble recovery. How do you like that? Looked like Drini had opportunity for a big hit there with his user and he missed him. Hey, you know, you gotta you gotta capitalize right there. You're gonna get a big hit, just follow through with it. It looked like he hit sticked a little bit early and his guy fell down. How do you like that, the stumble gun, recovery? Gun, gun, gun. Not bad. Leopard, Leopard. So instead of being dropped in the gun, backfield, gun. picks up five yards, oh second and five. Throwing is some serious. Finds his man. Great play by both players right there. Drini had to run back. He knew that Moss was going to be open on the street. Just a great recognition of what, what play he was running and way to get back there. And some serious on the other end. Way to make the read. Don't force anything deep. Just hit your guy, check down, let him make a play, get picks up the first line. How about out of position, Deion Sanders playing wide receiver? Uh, a couple years ago, that used to be my favorite card. Uh, I don't like him this much. I mean, I don't like him this year. He fumbles a little bit more than I would like, but still a great card. Hand off to George. Goes to the left. Picks up great yardage there. Looked like if his receiver may have thrown a block downfield, it would have been a touchdown. Second and three now. George, in the early stages of this game, looked like Drini may have had him bottled up a little bit, but George really gaining some steam as the game has worn on. A timeout for Drini. Uh, I don't like it at all. Interesting. Drini, you're going to need that later in the game. But hey, if you have the terrible play out there, if you are if you had broken coverage, it's okay. But other than that, I don't like that timeout at all. Gun, gun! Gun, gun! So here we go, second and three. Some serious. Tosses it to the flats. Cutting back inside is Eddie George. And if Eddie, if, if some serious goes on to win this game, it'll be because of Eddie George. He's making so many plays for him in the pass game, in the run game. He's definitely his MVP so far. Eddie George, the 1995 Heisman winner, the first ever cover athlete, the first ever cover athlete on Madden, Madden 2001. Tons great of time. Game. Oh, this is a great read from the quarterback. Great scramble. Get down, get down. And on third and inches, Lamar Jackson picks up tons of yards, gets it up to the 33. There was nothing open at all. If you're draining, you're just praying, praying for your D lineman to fight, get a breakthrough, get a sack. Gun, 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 gun. Some serious. Hand it off to George. George met in the backfield. Drini's all over this run game. Looks like he's had a few 10 yard games with Eddie George, but everything else has been negative yardage. 
I'd have to go back and look, but I, I almost feel as if some series has been more successful on the ground in power style formations versus the spread. All right, so dropping back to pass. We'll throw it out to the left side flats. Great spin move. And we'll pick up the first down. A very methodical drive right now from some series. He's undeterred by negative plays. He's playing great. He's playing great. Drini's a great player, though. He's going to stick in this game. Some series is playing a phenomenal game. Just stick with your game plan. Close out this drive. You need seven this drive. Put, put the pressure back on Drini. Some serious. Handing it off to George. George picking and choosing his way. Fighting forward. Picks up a couple yards there. Brings up second and eight. The ball at the 21-yard line. The long drive continues for some series. He'll fire a bullet to the left side and it's picked up for the first down. That one looked a little scary. Yeah, it did. When I seen Drini, yeah, bring, down that, when Drini bring down that cell and safety, I would have tried to put my outside receiver on a streak or a fade, maybe catch him over the top. He doesn't, but hey, he still picks up the first down. That one looked a little scary, though. You don't want to live like that. Some serious knows exactly where the sticks are. He's attacking the sticks Got very him. well. Great touchdown pass there. So he'll beat you up underneath, drive it all the way down, and just when you think he's going to run it, he'll throw it. Looks like Greeny got a little impatient in the red zone. If you're in the red zone, it's so hard to score if your opponent's passing. Drop back in coverage, make him work for it. An impressive drive. I mean, an immaculate drive, really, if we're, if we're being honest. From some serious, marching all the way down, very methodical, did exactly what he wanted to do, Great run, pass, mix, scored seven. When you're up here playing a player like Greeny, you get nervous. Another thing I just noticed from some series, he doesn't even have the right left end out there. He's got a 10 cap end instead of his Jason Taylor, who's 90 some speed, I'm sure. Instead, he's got a 10 cap end out there. He's the pass rusher, or he's just something I noticed when he was cycling through his players. That's that's odd to me because he, he said he'd like to use Sean Taylor as his offensive end. Yeah, uh, Sean Taylor and Jason Taylor, yep. And he has a 10 cap. I can't even pronounce the guy's name, but <laughs> he's 60 speed. I know that. So Drini with his first drive of the second half. Watch him now, Barney, Barney. Can he respond? Toss out to left. Oh, my goodness. Tons of space. Great. Oh, he's gone. Stick work. Oh, he's my gone. goodness. Drini Joe will Mason. test it. Can he get the speed to the edge? Yes, he yeah. does. Touchdown. Huge sigh of relief for Drini. He needed that. He's not comfortable on offense. Obviously, he's coming out in this, this single back type formation. It's a huge touchdown. Wow. What a run. What an answer from Drini. Seventeen, fourteen. Your score. How about this replay, Mo? Great stick work by Drini. He had one guy to make this, and he was out of there. He gone. I thought Cam Chancellor may have had a chance, but no. Makes it. Let's see if Five some series has another gets drive in. in. Eddie George powering his way forward. A healthy pickup on first down. Brings up second and five. Although the score is only 17 to 14, we've really seen some great offense by both players, and I wasn't expecting that. I thought we might see some turnovers. Neither player has turned the ball over. It's been great. It's been a very conservative offensive game plan from both, I think. Absolutely. Both using some clock on all their drives. We haven't seen very many one-play touchdowns. Just, just great defense, but better offense. Oh, he's a got him. pass to the see left side. See this ya. is going to be a long touchdown. So how do you like that? A long that touchdown out. from Mixon, answered immediately by some series with a long touchdown of his own. Extra point up and good. It's 21-17, to 17 and all of a sudden, the cap has been taken off of this game, and now we've got a high-scoring affair. Walk me through it, Mo. What do you see here? Oh, a double move. Double move. You don't see very much of that. No. I don't think I've ever even noticed that in any of his games. 
a double move up the left side, and he gone. I wonder if Drini was in a match Detroit! coverage right there, and Detroit! that's why he got burnt. I have never seen that. Detroit! Detroit! Ah! All right, what has Drini got in him? He'll throw it out to the left side. Big pickup on first down. Picks up another first down. 21-17, your score. Go it was 10-7 at halftime. Green's going to put another drive Detroit. together. I know he doesn't ma oh. like making his living like this. All right, Drini testing the left side again. Good run. Drini's doing whatever he wants on offense. This is this is a pretty good offensive game plan for Drini. Second and inches. Playbook wide open here. As the clock winds down on the third quarter, Mixon will run it again. And they look like an exact same play to bring it close to the third quarter. Your score after three. Some serious clinging to a four-point lead. It's 21-17. Coming tomorrow to Madden Ultimate Team, here's a first look at Terrell Owens and Rod Woodson. Make sure to follow at EA Sports underscore Mutt for when items are available in game. Also, make sure to tune into Madden Daily Drops tomorrow morning at 10.30 a.m. Eastern, right here on this Twitch channel to find out who is the limited time ultimate legend coming to Madden Ultimate Team. 21-17. If the first half, Mo, was a conservative game plan for both players, the third quarter was like like a bottle of soda that you shook up and took the cap off. Absolutely, these guys are starting to figure each other out. I want some series to find a way to get on that safety and send the blitz. I, I don't like him on this linebacker. His pressure is never getting him. Fourth quarter underway. And the first play from scrimmage, it's another run. You see it there, 13 rushes uh, on the ground for Mixon. You, you guys are seeing a lot of Ladanian Tomlinson making tackles. That's an out of position card, just like that Deion Sanders on offense. And then Matt uh -oh. the team. There goes Sharp making plays. He's really good for the cap, just like Deion is on offense. So that's why these players have him out there. They have, Drini has run the ball more than he has thrown the ball. That's amazing. And that's exactly what he wants to do. It's just really, really difficult to do that. 21, 17 year score, another run. Nixon breaking a tackle, fighting forward. Great pickup on first down, brings up second and, sh second and medium, second and five. If you're Drini, you love seeing some serious on this linebacker. You know the pressure is just never going to get to you. You can take your time, go through your reads, not ever have to worry about anything. Some serious shifting his line to the left, now shifting him back. And we just haven't seen that at all from some serious. I wonder what, what made him put this in his game plan. We're into the fourth quarter. It's 21 17. Some serious with a four point lead. Drini looking Got to him. the right. They knocked it out. Had a man for a second. Some but that serious. defense closed. Some serious using Dion on both sides of the ball. Cam Chancellor in the area as well. You have to think that might have impacted that catch. In LCQ, there's no doubt that Cam Chancellor was some serious MVP. He made plays Detroit, for him time and Detroit. time again in those flats. Watch him now, Barney, Barney. All right, quick play here on 35. Oh, Lob pass right to the middle. Ooh. Dangerous pass. Almost lucky it went out of bounds. Looked like he had that tight end wide open over the middle. Lepers, May have pressed Lepers. the. Drini's going for it. That surprises me. Fourth and five. Go on, go on. This is go definitely go the play of the game. Fourth and five. 340 left Detroit, to go in this Detroit. game. Drini trailing and by four. He drops into coverage. And how about Got this? It. Working that seam. Finds his man. Picks up a huge first down. First and goal. When are we going to see some serious send seven players like he's been doing his whole time, whole time he's been in this tournament? It's how he got here. Why are you going away from him? I'm intrigued. I'd love to ask him about it later because he told me he's going to try to blitz every down if he can. This time bringing a little bit of heat. We're, sending, we're seeing him send six players, but it just doesn't have that same effect 
When you blitz seven, you are almost 100% of the time going to come in. Your opponent's got to make a quick read. When you only blitz six, he can easily be blocked up, blocked if a tight end is blocking for the post. Under pressure! A great sack there. Two negative plays after a first and goal. All right, let's take a look at the Snickers replay. And a sack there, a great defensive play from some serious. You're off your game when you're hungry, eat a Snickers. If you're green, you almost know you're gonna have to settle for a field goal here. A bullet pass to the left, but it's swatted away. You would have liked Fourth to see, and goal. You would have liked to see Moss in that spot. He probably has a better chance of holding on than John Ross. And now you're forced to punt, or forced to kick a field goal with only two minutes left. You're gonna have to get a stop. If you're dreaming, you're in a really tough position because some series has just played offense so well this game. He's so patient, and he's been he's having a great air attack, which is isn't a good sign because if you if you, even if you get him into a third and manageable, he's probably going to make that play. You had been talking about this so much yesterday, but when that field gets compressed, when you get to first and goal, when you get into that red zone, so difficult to score. We saw it there. Absolutely, some series played perfect defense down there. You'd like to see Dreen try to run the ball again on that second down. Gone, 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 gone. All right, some serious. Nursing a one-point lead over the great Dreen. Can he hold on to this lead? 2.37 left to go in this ball game. Some serious scanning. A lob pass to the right. Can he find his man? A dangerous pass. Oh. It's picked off. Get loose. Stumbling forward to the 40. And Dreen has life. I thought he might have had him there. Just a great play. I think it's Marlon Humphrey out there. It looked like he had him. Marlon Humphrey just catches up. And how about that? A run to the left. Some serious, getting serious on defense. A four-yard loss. If you're dreaming, you don't want to get too conservative here. You still have to go down and win this game. You can't be just taking five-yard losses on first down. Air the ball out. That's what's been working for you. How surprised were you that 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 some series was going deep on that? You know, I don't I don't hate it. I, I don't think it's I think it's a great I think it's a great decision. His guy, Dreams guy, just made a great play. Dream, the, everybody else was blanketed. You had to throw that really, unless you're going to take a sack. I have no problem with the read there. You know, he's caught him up. He's he's went up top a few times and it's worked. You kind of got to just stick with your game plan. That was that, that was a fine read. I think that was the same play he scored a touchdown on earlier. Two minutes to go. Some serious has all three timeouts. It's second and 14. Throwing it to the flats is Dreamy. Picks up about five. And for the first time, we see some serious on that safety. I like Third it. Third and six. Something to watch. I really do like it. I hope he mixes up his coverage here. Maybe maybe puts that outside corner in a hard flight rather than being in a deep zone like everybody thinks he's going to be in. Back to that Philly. Here we go. All right, here we go. A bullet pass to the uh, seam, and he goes right down. Drini Picks up the first down. Drini could have made a play there, maybe, and made him, you know, kind of end the game. Now he's forced to pick up another first down. It looked like he had one-on-one. -on -one. I would have probably tried to make a play there, but you do risk the fumble, so I'm okay with it. Again, some serious. Had the ball with a one-point lead, decided to go up top, got intercepted. Drini with a great body. defensive play. Looks now like with about one left. minute to go, are you surprised some serious body. not using timeouts here? Now I like to wait after first down and use it then. Into the backfield. Oh my goodness, timeout on the way, but boy, that's an animation that could go your way sometimes. Absolutely. Now it looks like we're gonna see Drini try to end the game here with some passing plays. I like the call. I don't like I don't like wasting another down on a run. All you need is one first down and this game's over. At the 44-yard line, you think he's got to pick up about 10 yards to make a very comfortable field goal attempt. Great time Sharp. for something serious. Trying to fight with the hands, fighting forwards, third and five. All right, we got two downs. We got two downs. Ball at the 38. From here, it's, I mean, still an incredibly long field goal. It's going to be tough. It's going to be tough with this 10-cap kicker they have, Dan Bailey. Right. Doesn't have the best kick power. You think he'd need Detroit, to pick up five Detroit. yards to make a, a, a makeable field goal for the win. Gone, gone. 57 gone. seconds left to go. What does Drini have in? Oh, oh, oh my goodness! A alert. alert! Unbelievable defensive Look play from Sub Serious! Come on! Who is this guy? Great lurk by Sub Serious. 
I would have came down on the drag. Everybody would have came down on the drag, and that's why he went to the, the, the uh, curl. Great defense. And now you kind of still need a first down because Dream's going to get that ball back with about 15 seconds. You're hoping Eddie George can just break a tackle and get you there. Eddie George slamming forward. Let's take a look at the replay. Walk me through it. Look at this lurk. It comes out. Oh, oh my God. It's like it gets better every time I see it. You're thinking he's riding that seam every single time. Every time. time. Who does that? That was a great lurk. Oh, my goodness. What a play. Eddie George again, powering forward. Very close to the first down marker. Third and short. I don't know if you guys noticed that at home, but now he has LaDainian offense on the offensive side of the ball. It looks like he's subbing in his middle linebacker card to play tight end and try to get some lead blocking for him. Ah. I'm not sure how good of blocks he's throwing out there, but he is out there. A user truck okay. to complete the victory. What a game. I mean, this guy, some serious, is exactly that. To he come, is something serious. To come up with a play like that versus a player like Drini, it's monumental. I'm interested to talk to him about, about how he was running his defense this game, though. I got some questions for him for sure. Unreal. A couple kneel downs, one kneel down. This ball game is over. Some serious with a huge upset in the minds of many. Taking on Drini and beating him at his own game, using great defense. And winning his first game in group play, 21 to 20. First drive of the game, Drini had it. Kicked that field goal. Eddie George on some serious side, responded right back. Very methodical drive.